Our viewers here, we've got a Compton thermal maximum demand meter from a substation which has gone faulty. And we gave it to me to have a look at it, see if we can fix it. So, taking the copper loose already. Take the inside out. Most screws have all been carefully removed. And to reveal the inside damage, what could have happened. First thing here we notice a big burn mark. And that was the first thing I noticed straight away. We got a problem here. This is one of the thermal springs which has gone up in a circuit between the post and the uh, between the post and the actual spring itself, so I'll have an attempt at fixing it, see if we can fix it. This is the parallel shunt which has been subjected to excessive current flow. A few little thin hairlines in here, that is actually for calibration, these things. But yeah, it has been exposed to severe overcurrent, hence gone up in circuit. Oh well, it's Easter today. Um, just normal Easter, Wendy. Um, I've connected this uh, megawatt meter up, which I found in my garage. It came out of the other two substation. It was demolished many years ago. Zero to sixteen megawatts. <coughs> it uh, runs on five ampere, and I just got it up to uh, hooked up to the variac. So I'm gonna. I know it's a 2 watt meter met at 110 volts potential calls so I'm just going to build it in one of my control boxes and calibrate it for kilowatts so get the suitable watts, uh, ratio CT current transformer and get it to read uh, like 4000 for 4 kilowatts 8000 for 8 kilowatts or 8000 watts and so on so yeah that's the plan oh, we'll see what happens um, but yeah it's quite a nice meter Metropolitan Vickers, um, bottom 800 to 5, 11,110. Also, still working on this M meter which I'm fixing that had blown up. Got another short video of that. The shunt had blown up, it must have been uh, subjected to an excess overcurrent. So, I uh, tried to fix that and I found this meter, an old 110 volt meter, polyphase, general electric. So we'll connect up to a phantom load and uh, get it working as well. And uh, there we got uh, Larry's 28 SDM meter email and then a Metrovic uh, two phase 460 volts. So yeah, that just nearly missed it. Witnessed it all over on this meter. Zero forty thousand. That's amazing. Well, lucky I just happened to walk in the garage. It has clocked over, but it's sitting. There we go. Let's have a quick look at the SDMR. Test current is 5 ampere. Just got this meter just nearly right. Um, 5 ampere equals 400, it's a CT meter. As the shunt was destroyed, I have to make some uh, cuts in it to uh, get a calibration right for it. So I'm just gave it a good long duration test, but uh, it's, it's nearly on 400, so I may have to make the slot a little bit uh, longer. Uh, the thing is that these meters have a thermal leg, these particular type of meters. Great thing I just noticed on this watt meter is that uh, it's got a linear scale, so if I calibrate this meter correct, it's in uh, CT to read watts. Um, yeah, it gives me a linear reading, which is really nice as most M meters haven't got a linear reading as such. So, yeah. Keep, stay tuned. Here we have just a ginger flower. Very cool. It's actually a weed here. The meter has advanced a little bit more. Okay, I'm gonna finish the video.
Thanks for watching.